Hey guys, my name is Lily and today I have some really important information for you. And this information is so important to you and your health, to all of us. So you should not skip even one second of this video. So today's video, which is going to be episode one of the war on food, it's going to be about this thing here. It's a potato. So potatoes are not only full with vitamins and packed with nutrition, but this should also be your go-to carbohydrate if you're an off-grid homesteader, a prepper or a hobby gardener. And today I want to explain why potatoes are better than rice and beans, especially rice and other grains like corn and such. So I have this really, really important chart here. And I know this is going to be a little bit boring, but you have to know this in order to understand why potatoes are better than rice and other grains. Okay. So how can plants reproduce? Uh, they can reproduce in a couple of ways. One way how they can reproduce is by asexual reproduction or vegetative propagation. Okay. So here at this side we have vegetative propagation. So this is what you can do with potatoes. You take the potato, put it into the soil in springtime, then you will get 10 potatoes out of one. So you will eat most of the potatoes throughout the year and the rest you have to store in a root cellar because they are not really winter hardy. And then next year you will have the same potato again that you put into the ground. So this is vegetative uh propagation okay and that's great that's awesome why is it awesome i will explain later okay so that was the vegetative reproduction but there's also another reproduction uh, which is called the sexual pollination now here we also have two other sections categories self pollination is the first one okay so for example tomato plants are self pollinators they have both female and male parts in one flower. So you only need one tomato plant to pollinate and then you will get seeds from it. And those seeds will be planted next year. So you only need one plant. So that's self pollination. And that's also great. Then we also have cross pollination. And here's where the problem starts. Okay. So with cross pollination, we need at least a second plant or maybe a couple of hundred plants for successful pollination. And this can be done either by insects. Uh, so for example, for onions, you need bees or other flying insects to pollinate. And then there's a second way on how plants can cross pollinate and that's by wind. It's mainly grain like wheat, rice, corn, barley and oats. Okay. Okay, so now you might ask, what's the problem here? What's the problem with the uh, reproductive procreation of plants? Well, 100 years ago, we did not have a problem, but now we have a problem and the problem is called GMO foods. Now, most of the rice and corn and wheat and other grain, they are now genetically modified. Uh, I heard that with rice, it's over 85%, with corn, it's over 95% or something. So most of the corn, rice and other grains is GMO food. It's genetically modified with an altered DNA. And this is a huge problem because if I'm a farmer and if I say no to GMO and if I have old wheat seeds, from 100 years ago that I want to plant heirloom seeds, this genetically modified stuff will crossbreed into our old seeds. This contamination is irreversible. You cannot reverse that. Okay. So then this crop or the seed, the heirloom seed, the old crop is lost forever. And that's a huge problem. Once you have the DNA integrated into your heirloom seeds, it's over. So this is contamination by DNA. And with grains, it's a problem because they pollinate by wind. And 
I've heard that Poland can fly for a really long time, really long distance. It's certainly more than just five kilometers. Maybe it's 50 kilometers or 100 kilometers. So the more GMO fields you have, uh, the higher is the risk that you will have this GMO DNA in your old heirloom seeds. So now we have to ask the question if this unwanted cross contamination or cross breeding has happened already. And the answer is yes. Here you can see an article. Uh, it's by the Institute for Agriculture and Trade Policy. And the article says, Mexico confirms GM mice contamination. This happened uh, in 2002. The Mexican government has confirmed earlier reports that transgenic maize is growing with the country's borders and has apparently contaminated wild varieties despite a national ban on the cultivation of GM crops. A government commission study has shown that as many as 95% of maize fields in the Mexican states of Oaxaca and Pueblo, Pueblo contain evidence of GM contamination, the highest level yet recorded. The greatest levels of contamination were found near main roads and alongside commercially cultivated maize fields. So this is already happening since 2002. And even though GMO foods are illegal in Mexico, they still have this huge problem now. And that means that old varieties, they are destroyed forever. So I will put a link to this article in the description of this video. It was not so easy to find. Uh, it seems as if Google is restricting searches on GMO critical media. Uh, but still, I found this article because years ago when I read this, I remembered that this article was also cited in this book here. And this book here is a handbook, an Austrian handbook on how you can uh, do some seed gardening. Now seed gardening is really difficult. So it's much more difficult than just normal gardening. So this is a really important book that I can recommend to every prepper or homesteader or hobby gardener. And it's also available in English. So I will link this book um, into the description of this video as well. So now I want to come back to why potatoes are so great. Well, potatoes, they cannot cross pollinate because the reproduction is asexual. So it's vegetative. So with potatoes, it doesn't matter if your neighbor has GMO potatoes on their fields because there's no way it can cross um, contaminate your potatoes in your garden. Uh, the thing is, when growing potatoes, we do not let them go into seeds. So we just take um, the tube and this tube is 100% identical to the mother plant. So the DNA is the same from daughter to mother or from mother to daughter plant, okay? It's 100% the same exact DNA. And that's the great thing about vegetative reproduction. Also, the next thing is, how many of you guys are growing a wheat field or a corn field? So with grains, there's a whole lot of expensive equipment that you need. You need a tractor, harvester, and whatnot and a mill to mill down the grains into flour so yeah most preppers don't have that except for some farmers of course but most people don't have this expensive equipment so in an shtf situation i would never grow grains because i don't have the equipment and it takes a lot of energy and time to process grains Potatoes, on the other hand, you only need a root cellar or some way on how you can store potatoes over winter time. All right, so the quintessence of this video is that potatoes are not easily um, polluted by GMO crops growing nearby. So potatoes are really awesome, but you have to make sure that you get heirloom potatoes and not genetically modified potatoes for your garden. 
Now to complete this video, I also want to mention that it's possible to grow seeds from potatoes as well. So this would be sexual reproduction. Uh, and that can be important if you have potatoes that have a certain disease and some diseases they don't go into the seeds. So growing potatoes from seeds is not a bad idea if you have certain kind of illnesses. So if you let your potatoes go into seeds, then you have to watch out that you don't have any GMO crops nearby. That's the most important thing to consider. And all of this is uh, written down in the book here. Now also what I've noticed is that when I'm eating potatoes, I'm not tired. The same goes for sweet potatoes and uh, manioc roots and so on. But when I'm eating grains, doesn't matter if it's noodles or bread, then I have to lay down for a couple of hours because this stuff is making me tired. I feel that for me it's not healthy and I don't know about you guys, but since I've reduced grains to zero and since I'm on the paleo diet, I'm feeling so much better. I have energy the whole day and I don't have to lie down because I need a pause or because I am tired. So potatoes are great. And in another video, I want to show you how you can can potatoes because this is super easy. Uh, you can grow your own potatoes in your backyard and then take the harvest and can it. And this is how you can store it throughout the winter and the next year. Okay, last but not least, I would like to state that I fear censorship is coming. Videos like these are not popular within YouTube and mainstream. Um, they basically want you to eat some 3D printed meat from the laboratory, GMO food and whatnot. I don't like this stuff and this is my honest opinion. I don't want to eat this stuff and this is now the mainstream so they all want to push people into GMO foods and such. They are also obscuring labels so you cannot read GMO anymore but now it says bioengineered or something so they are even hiding the labels now for GMO foods so that people cannot tell which is healthy and which is not. Um, this is a big problem guys because this is concerning our health and I fear that soon my channel will get censored or demonetized or maybe hacked or shadow banned because this is information they don't want you to know. And because of this um, situation with the censorship going on on YouTube, I've created a Twitter account and a Rumble account. So please follow me there because in case they are shutting me down here on YouTube, which will happen sometime, um, you can still, you know, learn about the truth on Twitter and Rumble and follow me on those platforms. Otherwise, you will not get this information anymore. This is really valuable information. It's important for your health on how you can avoid GMO foods. And the answer right now is potatoes. So yeah, this is my video for today. It's very concerning to me. Please share this video with family and friends and why potatoes are the better preps. Okay guys, so this is it for today. I really want to thank you guys for watching and stay tuned. Till next time.